Airwolf39 here on my Jeep Compass forums. It's 95 degrees out here. It is hot. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. I'm not going to review the tent itself or the Jeep itself because there's there's a lot of other videos out there that, that, that do a better job than I would ever do. So instead, what I'm going to show is do they fit, how I got it to fit, how you can get it to fit, and well, is this an option for you? So I'm not going to debate if rooftop, rooftop tents are cool or not. I'm just saying that this is what I've always wanted. And oh man, it looks sexy. So it's gonna go ahead and do a quick walk around here. A lot of people driving by pointing at it. It, it seems to get people's attention. Again, I'm here in Southern Indiana. This is more of a Western thing, but no reason why it can't be a Midwest thing. So some of the perks of putting this tent on this Jeep is, and I'll show you here, the panoramic sunroof. So, get here get the focus you can see the bolts right there and the bolts there in the back so the tent when it's mounted and you're driving if you hear a little noise or something you can always look up and make sure that it's not shifting moving around nothing like that I've taken it down the freeway at 70 miles an hour I can't really tell it's even up there honestly I'm not even not over exaggerating you can barely tell it's up there the only time you notice is if you take a sharp turn like I first did It'll make creak noise, It'll, and so don't don't do that because <laughs> I, I forgot I was even up there when I first backed out of the driveway. So you know, take your turns conservatively, and then you're fine. Um, I got it mounted on Thule's crossbar. Uh, there are aerodynamic types. So here you go. I like him because it doesn't have the bar that sticks out, you know, or it pokes out like that. So it doesn't look goofy. And so when the tent is off, it looks really sexy, very clean. As you can see here, there's no flex in the bar. I mean, when people are up here, I had have 450 pounds up here with my in-laws. Don't tell them I said that, but <laughs> no flex. Very happy with that. These crossbars are weighted or rated at 165 pounds, a dynamic weight. The roof is at 150 pounds. This tent weighs 116 pounds, so dynamically, I'm good. Static weight, this tent holds 660 pounds, which will hold me, my wife, my two little ones. So we're set there. I did get my hitch put on here. My plan is to uh, get a, uh, a Wilco swing tire carrier, because if there was a, if there's a tire carrier, uh, this Jeep needs one. <laughs> I mean, it, right now the tire is under here and a propane tank whatever hey bud doing a video so it needs to get that tire out of there I need more space back here in this trunk to haul my junk so let's take a look inside so as you can imagine it's nice easily climb up in here a lot of room, a lot of space, a lot of ventilation. I'll do a, uh, a more in-depth review once uh, we're out somewhere, if there's something we're seeing. Hey, Brian, you ain't 18, get out of there. Or 16, I guess. Why are they driving now, 15? Holy crap. But no, it looks good. I got some pictures on the forms of what it looks like uh, boxed up and whatnot. It looks really, really nice there on the Jeep, so. If you have any questions, reach out to Airwolf39 on my Jeep Compass forums. I'll be happy to answer them for you. But this one's a winner. <laughs>